online at consumerqb.com. All right, we're back here in studio with Nick Shriver, Decorating Elves, coming up here in just a moment. And before we do, we like to feature uh, real estate properties that uh, we want to get exposure for, more exposure for these properties. Uh, this one is a co-listing that we have, 530 Heaton Forest Road, compliments of Bill DeVore real estate team, Bill DeVore real estate team in the Carolinas. We've got a $9 million listing here, uh, Keller Williams in the Carolinas at 530 Heaton Forest Road, 11 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, 10,000 square feet. This is in the luxurious High Hampton uh, golf community. Uh, beautiful property here. Uh, you got a estate on 20 plus acres of land uh, that ex uh, it boasts a main residence of seven spacious bedrooms, seven lavish bathrooms, complemented by a separate guest house featuring four comfortable bedrooms and three stylish bathrooms. Uh, this property offers unparalleled privacy and serenity. Indulge in the epitome of luxury living with exquisite finishes and an impeccable craftsmanship throughout this home. 530 Heaton Forest Road, Cashers, North Carolina. 11 bedrooms, 10 baths, 10,000 square foot mansion uh, that Bill DeVore real estate team, KW Professionals, has listed up in the Carolinas. Uh, we also have another listing here, uh, right here in uh, St. Petersburg, 3864 50th Avenue South, St. Pete. Uh, this is a property that's been completely renovated, uh, just a pretty much a thorough uh, renovation and remodel here at 3864 50th Avenue South in St. Petersburg. Uh, we've got three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, 1659 square feet, uh, fully remodeled property here. Uh, screened in back patio. I love the floor plan. It's an open floor plan layout, beautiful flooring, lighter colors, uh, beautiful backsplash there. Uh, you have a large island, uh, stainless steel appliances, gorgeous property. It's staged as well. And you're a block away from the recently renovated Maximo Marina and and famous tiki docks 3864 50th avenue south st petersburg new price as well 599 just reduced great opportunity here in tampa bay you can see all of our properties at platinum coastal elite.com the majority of that she's oh. all right so nick shriver back in studio welcome in sir yeah man thank you for having me thanks for being here yeah man so tell us a little bit about this is your busy time of year right yeah absolutely uh everybody was actually surprised in my office that i was sneaking out for a little bit to come into here into the studio so yeah. i'm thrilled to be here because i get to breathe a little bit there you go uh but yeah we are very much busy right now we're stacking up and you know a lot of people like to say oh like you're putting up christmas lights early or whatever the reality is is that there's so much planning there's so much work there's so many things that go into making a really good holiday season work and effective and all of my work as an owner and as uh you know the leadership on our team is all done on the front end yeah you know so we're doing all the heavy lifting now to make sure that our team is in place that our staff is in place that the guys are doing what they got to be doing so that when we really get busy which is really starting um this coming week here being the first full week of november um that yeah like everything's really starting to go smooth yeah man so holiday lighting i mean i, I love the holiday season man you get a little cooler weather you got the time the kids are just invigorated they you know they're they, you know can you think back to when you were a kid and you see the lights and you start envisioning santa claus and those things right i mean uh, so when people say oh it's too early come on man let the kids have a good time well you know one of the things that that, that i was going to kind of introduce today is a diy tip right yeah. and so my diy tip is that it's okay to do it early you do not have to turn it on or plug it in, right? So w what we're doing right now, and we've actually been doing lights for three or four weeks now, as well as we were doing some ho uh, some Halloween stuff prior to that. We're kind of mixed in with that. Is like we're, we're putting lights up on oak trees. We're putting them up on palm trees. We're putting them up on a lot of things, a lot of plant material, a lot of big stuff. And you don't even know that they're there, okay, uh, until we plug it in. And if we're not plugging it in, it's really not on. Even though it's physically installed, right. it's not necessarily on. So, you know, there's a lot that we're doing with that. And so my DIY tip to the to the end consumer out there listening is is like, hey man, if you feel like you got a good weekend, you feel like you got, you know, a little bit a little bit of um, energy in your knees and you want to get out there and, and tackle this early, that's okay. Right? You don't have to turn it on until you're ready. Right. So if you got some trees out there you want to wrap them up, you got something you want to go do, you you know, you can log a few hours out there get your kids out there have them help you while it's good weather before you feel that that urgency and then you know maybe in two weeks from now or three weeks from now whenever it might be that you know that you go hey you know let's fire that up and enjoy it 
then you can just plug the cord in and feel like a hero then. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of a double win. Um, so that is something that, you know, and then obviously, hey, if you kind of feel like, eh, uh, it's not something I really want to do, then guess who's available? We are. DecoratingElves.com. Check them out. Absolutely. 1-800-MY-LIGHTS and DecoratingElves.com. We are here to make it look amazing, and we like to do what we call, we like to create the postcard picture. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're the kind of person that wants your house to look like it should on the front of a postcard, like you could take your whole family out there with your dog and get your Christmas photo there and send it to all your friends and family about how amazing it looks, Yeah, that's what we do. Like, yeah, I love it. We make it look amazing. We create the postcard picture. What's some of your big? By the way, if you just joined us, we're we're talking with um, Nick Shriver here, decorating elves. What's some of your biggest displays that you've ever done? I know you probably got some that are like thousands of lights, right? Yeah, I mean, so like municipal accounts. We've done a handful of the city municipalities in the Tampa Bay area. We've done a bunch of the malls in the Tampa Bay area. They obviously are the biggest ones, you know, like volume wise, hours, dollars, all of that stuff. They are definitely, and we have we still have a whole bunch of those that we still do. On a, on a regular basis, but we've kind of gone through the years with some different private single family homes where they've really done them up. And some of them, you know, we'll spend 240, 300 hours, wow. man hours, that's, wow. that's human beings on the job site, logging hours, doing work. I have one property, I think the greatest we log like 288 on the install. Wow. 288 hours divided by eight, divided by the number of guys. Like and we yeah. did it all in a five day window, which like I don't, I don't even know how I made that work, but we made it work. <laughs> That's a lot of lights. Yeah, yeah. You notice? Uh, well, for those of you out there listening to radio, if you were in the studio, you'd realize I don't have any hair. Uh, I think it was <laughs> b- b- between my kids and that job. I think that's where it all went. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we get we get into some big ones. Um, we've got a couple this year that are that, that we're planning on doing some really big stuff with, um, as well as you know, the news shows a lot of these things, and a lot of those we have our hands on some of the really really good ones in. So we just kind of, once we get them done, we kind of roll in the background, you know, let, let the owner take center stage. Obviously, it's their thing. We're there to support them, help them, and make them look amazing. So, uh, yeah, there's some really good ones out there. Talk to me about the benefits of using a professional company and in in what you're, you know, you yeah, talk about the five stages too, right? Absolutely. So there's yep. always some benefits to using a professional company like ours. And some of those benefits are quality, licensing, and insurance. So, you know, one of the things that we bring to the table is, is that we're licensed, we're insured, we bring a certain quality of product, a certain quality of service that we do have a very high level of training that we do provide um, with all of our people that we put out there that wear our shirt, that wear our brand. So, you know, this time of the year, uh, you know, we're always looking around and there's always these kind of yard sign things up at every stop sign in every neighborhood right. that says whatever. And it's not just my industry. It's yep. every home improvement industry, you know, <laughs> and, and it's something scratched on it, call whatever number. And, you know, one of the things that, if somebody is willing to put something like that, you know, that kind of violates uh, city ordinances, think about the things that they're also willing to kind of overstep or cut a corner on or ignore when they're out working at your property or working at your house. And that's just not the business that I'm in. That's every home improvement business. Like, you know, that's everybody that sits in this seat that's here to help the consumer on this consumer quarterback show. You know, we're all here trying to go, hey, consumer, hey, homeowner, hey, renter hey look at these things that that benefit you here's an education piece yeah you know and so be aware like go out and do your homework and one of the things that we bring to the table is all the stuff i just listed we're insured and that's a big deal when you have people that are doing physical work on your residence on any given property so if we were to happen to have an issue with damage our insurance company covers that yeah if one of our employees was to happen to have an issue like our comp covers that And in the current world, insurance is outrageously expensive. I do have a state license because of the electrical stuff that we do with our other business. So you can go to the state and you can always find me, right? You can always find our company. There's always things that are are in play there. We have, you know, obviously a heavy homo or excuse me, a heavy autos policy. And, And there's a lot of other businesses, home service businesses that sit in the seat that I share right now that are exactly the same, right? We're all you know, doing it at, at a high level with quality businesses, quality services, quality material, quality products, good people headed out there. And yeah, our prices may cost a dollar or two more, but the reality is, is the consumer is getting a dollar or two more in benefit. 
Have you know? I meant to ask you about your insurance. Have you noticed an increase in your different insurances? I literally this morning finished the conversation with my insurance person that I was like, okay, so a forty nine percent increase year over year wow. is considered a good deal, and they were like, yes. Wow. That is a good deal, Nick, because other people we're looking at is so much more. Wow. And so I had to get up, walk around the building, throw some steam off, and go back <laughs> and sit down and swallow that pill. Yeah. Uh, as a business owner, yeah, I mean, there, there's right. some things that are hitting us right in the face that we weren't planning for. Yeah, man. Now, the reality is is that I'm choosing to move forward and have insurance and make sure every person that works for me is insured. Right. So then I have to make those reflections as a business owner. Yep. And I'm sure that everybody else that's out there running a big business with a good brand is doing the same thing. But there there are people that are, you know, out there with their pickup truck, half broken down, yep. don't even know what insurance is that are saying, hey, I can do whatever, fill in the blank. Yep. And they may be able to do it. But are they really somebody you want working at your property? Right. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so those are all things that everybody gets to make their own decisions as well as you get to live with whatever happens from that decision. Yeah, it's a risk. It's a risk you take by having those types of, of folks on the property. Decoratingelves.com, 1-800-MY-LIGHTS, but it's L-I-T-E-S. That's correct, man. You're really good. There we go. M-Y-L-I-T-E-S. I like it. It's nice, nice and uh, you know easy to remember. We try to keep it easy. There you go. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming in, Nick. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, my pleasure. All right, taking a quick break. We're going to come back with Alex Black Belt Lima. Uh, we're going to talk about self-defense, uh, current events, and some other uh, topics here coming up on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one at CQB Show. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Brandon Rhymes Realty. It really means the world to us. When you click that bell, you ring the bell, and you subscribe to the channel, it's going to put us on alert, and you'll see all of our content. And we appreciate you doing that. ConsumerQB.com. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes.